Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do a leftover paint pour from my spring triptych that I did. So I have all those pastel colors still, and I'm going to do it this time on four canvases, and I'm going to use each of those colors, yellow, pink, blue, and purple, as the base. I'm gonna be using those same kind of bright pinks, purples, and yellows in the painting itself, and I'm interested to see how the same colors react on the different color bases. So, let's paint. All right, hello everyone. So I'm still on the spring inspired theme, and I had my leftover paints, I made a yellow, to go along and I had these other colors from the triptych that I did. Um, and Olga Sobi has definitely done one like this before, so I will make sure to link her in the profile below. If you have not checked out her channel, please go and check it out. Um, she does some absolutely beautiful work, so definitely wanted to give her credit for this as well. I am using paint and water for these and I thought it would be fun to just do one of each color base and the same colors in the middle and see how they react. Now, if you watched my other video, my blue was just a little bit thin. So what I did is created a slurry and I just took some blue and white and mixed them. Yeah, that's a way better consistency. I mixed the blue and the white together thick but creamy. And then I mixed that into the blue. If you're having an issue where you your paint's too thin and you wanna make it thicker, if you just put the paint by itself, tube paint, in with really thin paint, it will never incorporate. Well, I say never, but it will take you a really, really long time. But if you make the slurry first and then add it to the paints, it's much, much better. So that is just a little tip, something to keep in mind. I had asked everyone in the last video what they liked about spring. And I'm, I'm sticking with it because these colors are just making me super happy. All right, I am going to blow these out. Okay, I am in love with this color palette. It's not even a, I mean, it is a color palette. It's like one you would see on Pinterest, but whoa, I love it. I may do some Easter eggs, pouring on some Easter eggs. I have some, I didn't do it last year. I thought about it, but I chose not to, well, I really just time slipped away from me and I didn't, but I think I may do that this year with these colors because I, I am loving this. All right, let me put these to the side. And then I also debated, I wish you guys were here with me so that you could tell me what you think. I debated alternating colors and doing them, like doing different colors versus, oh, just doing, you know, like changing my, use your words, Molly. I was contemplating alternating my layers, doing different layers of colors on each one, but I think that I will just keep them the same. All right, so I'm gonna, I don't know. I, I don't know, I may change because depending on, so this is the thing. If I started with purple here, then I don't want purple to be right next to the yellow here. So I actually, I just, I talked myself through this one. I'm gonna change it. So I'm gonna start with magenta here. I'm going to start with magenta here. and I'm gonna start with purple here, and I'm gonna start with purple here. How about that? Ha ha. Um, all right, next, I think, I didn't do this color the last time in the triptych, but I am just gonna add just a touch of it. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that right next to that purple. I don't like that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna layer in maybe a white here. Keep this one kind of bright. Then I'm gonna go with my lighter yellow. 
and I, I kept the blue out of this one. You could definitely do blue in this as well, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like, and I'm gonna end up with my purple next to my yellow, but I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, we'll have to fix that. It wouldn't be a Molly painting if I didn't drip something everywhere. And I didn't even realize that I dripped that yellow there too. Huh. Okay, so the way to fix that is just scrape it off and scrape even more onto the painting. There we go. And you fix that like this. And then when I blow, that will all go together. Okay. If it's just one little blob like that, you can touch your finger and it's gone. Ooh, can you guys hear the rain outside? Okay, I think my silver will go in the center of each. These are gonna be some big colorful blowouts. Maybe just a little bit more white drizzled through. I am really trying to actually drizzle it this time. Nope, didn't do it. <laughs> okay, good enough, good enough, right? All right, do I have all the colors? I think so. I'm not loving this color that's being made by the purple and the orange mixed together, but we'll have to see what happens. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of purple around, a little bit of each color around. I already had some right there on that edge, so I don't need a ton there. And these I may blow over to mix them and then blow them out. And the reason for that is because when I just puddle them colors like this, if I blow it out like this, the, these colors will just stay as they are and I want them to actually mix together. So that is when I blow over is when I want that puddle to mix together. Did I already do blue? I've been talking to you and I can't even remember now. Someone will catch it in the video. It never fails. Uh, you know, you guys catch so much when you're watching me in these. It's so funny. I don't even remember it and I go back. I'm like, oh, they were right. All right, let's blow these out. Look at how gorgeous that is. Just softened up that edge right there and I really wanna blow right there. Oh, yes, love that one. All right, let's keep going. So each one of these has a little bit different composition. And I'm okay with that. Okay, I like that one too. The color is definitely a little bit more muted on this one versus this one, but they're both really pretty. I wonder if I should move them and then blow. Hmm, I think I may do that. <laughs> My brain was saying, go ahead. All right, let's 
So I think I'm going to move, well, I don't know what, what I should do. Maybe I'll try it. I feel like I'm such a klutz that I'm gonna get the hand, I'm gonna get it in there, but we'll see. Okay. Now I'm just gonna kind of fiddle. This composition, I wish that some of the purple had stayed up here a little bit. This one I like, this one I like. It's got this strong line right here of orange, but I think if I take my finger and kind of soften that out right there. Yeah, yeah. And I might even blow that. I'll have to come around on the other side of it. And then this one, same thing. I might just soften that right there. No, don't like that. I'm gonna have to blow that. I can't do it on camera, I don't think. I'm gonna have to do it off camera. All right, so let me fiddle with the composition of these just a little bit. I really like that yellow flowing through there. This one, there we go. That's better. Love that now. This is done. This, I may blow this corner right here. This, I may blow this purple right there. And that is it. I will take you in and show you. All right, so here they are. This inspired by two of my really good friends, Rinska Downa for the Dutch pour and Olga Sobi for doing the spring. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love how organic they look. By organic, I just mean kind of flowing, not with a specific design. Look at those cells. Oh, I love it. This, I have to say, is probably my, I love it, don't get me wrong, but it, the colors just didn't pop the same on this one that they did on the others. Wow, love it, look at that. So I will let these dry and I will show you. And yay for spring. How about those? I love them. So I actually spoke to Olga and hers was the four seasons. I went back and I looked at it too and they were beautiful. You should definitely check them out. So I guess here's my four for just spring. <laughs> but here, I mean the colors and I had one little bump right there, but I'm okay with it. It's not perfect, but this one came out absolutely stunning. Love that one. Love this one too, and I like this motion that's right here. But let me get you in on, oh, these colors together, the yellow, the purple on that sky blue light. And then one of my favorites again. Love them. Well, let me know what you think. Some happy, fun spring colors, pastels. Really enjoying this one. All right, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.